my channel, I'm Annette, and this is a Vintage Splendor, your destination for the very best vintage and thrifting. So by popular request, I'm taking you on a closet tour. I'm gonna to share some tips and tricks for just like sorting through and styling up your closet. So getting dressed every day is a really fun experience. Plus I'm gonna share some of my favorite thrifted finds ever. Come on in. So this is my closet. This is my dream closet. I dreamt of this specific closet for a really, really long time. So before we renovated our bedroom and before I had this closet, my clothes were in my girls' rooms. Some of it was in storage. Some of it was in my closet. Some of it was in a dresser. Some of it was at my mom's house and some was in the garage. So imagine what it was like trying to just get dressed every day when my stuff was split among seven places. So this closet, I worked with my really good friend, Jen, to design something that was really functional for me and Alan, but also practical for everyday use. And one tip I can give you is if you can consult with a professional organizer or closet designer for your specific closet, that is the most important thing because my friend came, she looked at all of the stuff that I had and then she told me these are like the three things that you're going to need and we designed the closet based off of that. So one of the most important things I wanted was obviously to have all of my items in one closet. I also didn't want to have a dresser in our bedroom so everything is in here. So let me show you everything. Well we can start with the shoes because they're my favorite. It's like if Carrie Bradshaw had all of her shoes on display and not in her stove, this is what it would look like. And then right above, I have all of my bags. Designer goods are at the top. And then I have some more handbags over here. And then I have all of my shoes. So what I like to do is I really like to sort through items and then like organize them by category and color. It gives me a lot of joy to do that. And it also helps finding specific things so much easier. So like, as you can see, like I have colorful and printed shoes. I have other sandals. Like you can tell that Violet and Harley were playing in here because this is not where these go, but they both love these shoes. I mean, what's not to love about these? These are Sophia Webster. And if you're not sure what to add to your closet, add these because these are always a conversation starter and they always jazz up all of my outfits. So the front part of the closet is Alan's stuff and we're just going to ignore it because we don't care. And down here is my stuff. This is where I have my tops, some sweaters, and some jackets and you can see everything is color coordinated. And then we move on to other sweaters. For somebody who lives in LA, I have a lot of coats, jackets, blazers, sweaters, all of the above. And then we've got the section of skirts and pants. And then we move on to other pants, <laughs> sets, jumpsuits. I have a section, I think my jumpsuit section is like this big. And when I talked to my friend Jen, she said, that's how much room most women have for their dresses. That's just how much room I've designated just for my jumpsuits and rompers. It's an obsession. And then we've got more dresses and this is where my denim is. So. You guys know I love denim. I have over 40 pairs of denim. And you're like, well, I don't see that many. Well, let me show you. So my denim is double stacked. So based on the seasons and what I'm in the mood for, I like just pull out my denim and reorganize. And I'm never gonna get rid of it because I love denim. It is my go-to. And if I could wear jeans every day, I would wear jeans every day. Maybe that is a style challenge that I can try out for 30 days. Let me know what you think about that. You know I love sweatshirts. Those go up here. And I typically like to have them color coordinated. So it's like white and then black and then blues and reds. But I don't have time to do that all the time. But I do use this like really great folding system to put everything back in its place. And then I can see everything. I've got some fun pants. I've got some shorts got my Edwardian pantaloons over here and then more denim shorts here and something I want to show you is like let's just check out my drawer so I use this folding technique it's called like file folding I think so that you put everything else so you can see what you have 
and I just reach for all of my stuff. As you can tell, I love prints. I have so many printed t-shirts and really fun um, band tees and other things, and I like to put them all in a place that I can reach for. All of my accessories are up here. I've got some scarves, silk scarves, hats up here, and then two bins of belts. So there is some organizing that happens so sometimes when i'm feeling inspired to listen to a long podcast that's when i take the opportunity to come through and just like reorganize all of my stuff so my belts are typically like rolled up really beautifully and styled and then other times this is the mess but as you can tell i love my belts and i use them all the time and they're just really easy to reach for up here These are my three closet essentials no matter the size of your closet first off you need to invest in some really good slim velvet hangers you don't want hangers to take up all of the space in your closet you actually want your clothes to do that and having everything be the same color actually makes just the whole process of organizing your closet that much easier and like you don't want to be like trying to like arm wrestle your clothes to get to them and I feel like sometimes I get to that point and that's when I do a closet sale okay this is a must-have in my world but it's just like makes the whole process of getting dressed that much more glamorous I found this vanity little like seat so it's a loose sight and leather and it comes on caster wheels so I can move it around so whenever I'm like trying to get dressed I just want to sit down put on some heels take a moment have my coffee just like enjoy getting dressed like this is such a fun piece to have and obviously because I'm so short sometimes I use this to stand on it to reach for stuff up there but don't try this at home because like it can cause like death because you will roll away to your death. But at least if I'm going to die, I will die in my closet. Another item that I think you can install anywhere, even in a bedroom, is this valet. So it pulls out. And what I use it for is when I'm outfit planning. So I just pull out pieces, hang them up. And then that way I can visualize what I'm going to wear and I can start accessorizing and coordinating. It is such a minimal like piece, but I think it's one of the things in my closet that I rely on on a daily basis and I highly recommend it. So one of the questions people always ask me how I have so many designer heels. <laughs> it's an obsession but I also did corporate PR at Bloomingdale's and let's just say I made sure I took advantage of that discount it was a really good one it was like sometimes like 70 percent off so that is how i got so many great heels and i'm not getting rid of them because i have two girls and they're obsessed with my heels so fashion tip for you if you want to invest in designer heels don't go for the basic ones go for the fun ones these are manolos this is their popular pump style but it's like a cobalt blue with this cute little like palm detail and I got these for $124 at Barney's. So this is the easiest way to get really fun pieces is say bye to the boring and go for really unique pieces because not everyone's buying them. They're very, very seasonal, very on trend. So you can get great deals. And I have to say like heels like this one and even these like add that pop of color, just that like fun vibe that we all want. And it's very Carrie Bradshaw. My wardrobe essentials I've got a lot of essentials I know that's why you're here so the first thing is a classic blazer this one is Ralph Lauren it is one of my most worn pieces in my closet it's the piece that actually everybody always asks me about it looks great with jeans it looks great over dresses and I love it so much I found a black one that's similar vibes not Ralph Lauren but a girl needs options some days I'm feeling really dark navy other days I'm feeling black invest in a really great menswear inspired blazer so I have all these heels but I feel like I'm always reaching for flats and I would say invest in really great sandals flat sandals that you can dress up or down these are Valentino I got these on clearance from Italist 
and I love the color. I wear them with everything. I wear them like with really nice high-end dresses. I wear them with jeans. They're perfect for traveling. Like invest in a fun pair of like jazzy, is that even a thing? Jazzy flats, but you get the point. Like get something fun. You can take this when you travel, make sure that it's comfortable and that you'll wear it forever. I think every fashionista needs a vintage designer bag. Whether you love Dior, Gucci, MS, or Chanel, like save money and invest in a bag that you will carry forever. And I think the number one must is it has to be vintage because vintage quality is just so much better. You'll save a ton of money buying secondhand. Plus the styles are so unique. I know everybody loves the Chanel double flap, but I am a camera bag girl. So this, you see, I take good care of my stuff. So the camera bag has like this really cool like diamond stitching, which is really unique. It's like the larger diamond. It has this gorgeous little tassel. The new bags don't have that and I can wear it cross body or I could wear it just on my shoulder like this. And this is from the eighties. It's an excellent condition. Every time I wear it, people are stopping me and asking me for it. And it was under a thousand dollars. It was a gift from Alan. Best hubby ever. Now you didn't think I have like 40 pairs of vintage denim and I wasn't going to mention it. So there's a reason why I have 40 pairs of vintage denim because each one serves a very specific purpose. So you want to have jeans. I love vintage Levi's because they're just like my comfort jeans. It's like the sweatpants of jeans. They just fit really great. I can wear them with sandals, with sneakers, boots, heels, and they just make me feel really good. And if you want denim that gives you really good booty, vintage Levi's are it. Definitely a vintage crew neck. So I'm going to try and get one of these. I love anything with the school on it. This one is Arkansas. This one is Oxford. This one is, I think, a kid's sweatshirt. And it looks super cute with skirts, with jeans. I mean, if you go back a couple of videos, I shared an outfit formula. One of those outfit formulas is a sweatshirt, a crew neck like this with a skirt and a giant belt. And it like, you're never going to fail to look stylish styling one of these. Did you know I like slip dresses? You, you knew that about me. What gave it away? Okay, must have is a vintage slip dress. If you don't own any, I would start by searching for Dior or Victoria's Secret. They both have the most incredible vintage slip dresses. Look for silk, not polyester, and you'll wear it forever. I wear mine all the time year round during the winter i throw on a sweater a turtleneck a coat and some boots and then during the summer all you need is like a big chunky necklace and some flat sandals and you're done you need a big giant funky vintage belt i have a lot of them this one i just recently got an estate sale and it's like the perfect color i love that it's huge you will reach for pieces like this all the time, especially the days when you're like, my outfit looks really, really simple. I just wish I had something to spice it up. A vintage belt like this will do just that. So I'm gonna share some of my favorites because I'm always curious or nosy to know what people love in their closet and I wanna share that with you. So first things first, gotta share my Mia Muse. I wore these on our wedding day they're my favorite heels i don't wear them that much because harley has said she wants to wear these on her wedding day so i've got to preserve them and just a tip miu miu and prada heels are the most comfortable heels that you will ever ever wear i could run a mile in these i'm not gonna do it but i can if i had to like if like i don't know a cheetah was chasing me i could run another favorite is this set you guys see me wearing this halter top a lot and the reason i love it the skirt is inside out but this was my mom so my mom wore this to her engagement party she had a custom made for her she picked out the fabric she picked out the style she had it made for her 
and it fits me perfectly and I love it. I've worn it as a set together, the maxi skirt with the halter top. I also wear them as separates all the time and it's one of those like really special pieces that I will forever love and it's like proof that vintage is timeless. It doesn't matter how many decades ago it was made. It like is still like stylish it's very on trend and it stands the test of time and i'm excited to pass this down to my girls but I'm trying to think where i could wear this as a set because it's a very dramatic moment and i feel like she needs to go out so when people say thrifting is dead like it was like the bygone era of like finding amazing pieces gone i'm here to prove them wrong this is a chloe dress i found at salvation army and the crazy part is the guy told me oh you should have come yesterday so the day i bought this he's like you should have come yesterday because the person dropped off bags of chloe and other designer pieces we had a ton of resellers here and they snatched it up and this is the last piece so i actually bought this last year i wore it for my 40th birthday when i had a little baby bump and it was like the perfect like layering piece like how fun is this and guess what i got it at the salvation army and they allowed me to use my 25 percent coupon on chloe thrill of the thrift is still there my friends these pants are what broke the internet i kid but i think every time i wear these i get so many questions i've been working with my friend's company to try and reproduce these pants because so many people love them and want them i actually found these on ebay they were eight bucks they were giving me carrie bradshaw and it was like i better fit into these pants the person didn't send me measurements he just said they are a very very small size thankfully they fit me and i wear them all the time like again i can wear them with flats i can wear them with heels sweatshirts crop top doesn't matter they are awesome get yourself a pair of fun pants and i have to say like ever since i discovered this style of pant i found three more like them they're just like really really flattering on me and i love them okay this belt i found at an estate sale nobody else liked her somebody actually I remember made a comment that looks like something they would wear for a wwe like wrestling people and i was like wait i need them i need this belt i need to look like a wrestler but obviously i don't what i love about this belt is it's all hand painted look at that it's beautiful it's leather and it's like different like layers it kind of is like i don't know if it was like hand cut die cut but it has these like studs and rivets and it is probably the most asked about belt that i have i think the other day i was at a current affair i had three vendors ask me if i would ever sell it and i said no this is like one of those essentials it's my favorite and it was an estate sale fine like there's you can't find something like this trust me i've searched i've searched like the last 10 years to see if i can find another one like this because it's one of those pieces where i feel like i need a backup like i need a backup of this belt i need a backup of these shoes i need a backup of you know these pants there's like certain things that are so unique and so awesome. If you find it, try and find another one because you'll need it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment below and let me know what was your favorite piece from my favorites. And if there are any other types of videos you wanna see, let me know below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.